Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the asset store called 3D Fantasy Weapons Volume 1. So, Volume 1 would imply that it would be a Volume 2 uh, as well, <laughs> whether it is or not, I am not 100% sure. Um, so yeah, we get a demo scene with this, which I do like, so let's take a look at some of these weapons. So the overall quality is, it's not exactly the highest quality, however, you've got to remember that if you're aiming for AAA quality, you're probably going to have to pay. And these uh, weapons are indeed free, at least at the time of recording this little review. So we get nine in total of varying types. So what these kind of remind me of is one of the, I say, cuter styles of Final Fantasy. So if you're creating maybe that style of game, these would probably do quite well. Uh, any real fantasy, you know, maybe cell shaded RPG kind of thing, these would do really, really nicely. So the quality for that style of game is quite good. It's quite high. Uh, quantity, yeah, we get the nine of them. We get nine weapons, and I think that's good enough. Like it says on the page, nine, that's it. So extras, nothing really in the way of extras. Have an animation, which I've not actually even uh, used, to be honest. Uh, but there are a couple of other things here as well. Obviously, we get the textures and the materials and the FBX, so we can do what we need to do uh, with that. So it's entirely up to you. I guess you could count these as maybe... Uh, extras, you get little icons that you could use. So if you've got it on screen or something, maybe they could count as the extras. Do you know what? I am going to count them as extras because I think that's a nice little touch to it. Uh, so we get everything we need here. Folders nice and neatly laid out. Obviously these uh, weapons are versatile because you can change things about them. Not necessarily the shape of them, unless you want to kind of shrink them down proportionately. For example, let's change the Y scale to 0.5. 0.2, make them really thin and silly, you know, daft like that. So I guess they are to that extent in their shape. However, most of the time, the customization comes in the form of just modifying the materials. It comes with its own uh, shader here, as we saw in the folder right there, which is always, again, a nice touch. So I guess, do you know what? Yeah, we'll count that as an extra as well, the actual shader. So sure, why not? Let's go with this blue one. And... I'm just going to quickly change it back to standard to see how it would look normally. So you can see that shader really adds a little bit of uh, a vibrant touch to it. And I think that is a really good thing. But again, if you don't want that, you can change it, make it your own, however you want it to be. I guess there's no real way of saying, yes, that's it. No, that's it. Um, let's add a little light in here as well. So you can see that's now how this one looks with a little bit of light. So customize it how you would want it to be. Usefulness, like I said, uh, it's going to be useful for uh, fantasy games more than anything with battles and fighting and all that kind of stuff. But never be afraid to try and customize these assets as much as you can. You know, don't you don't just have to stick with the shader it gives. Write your own shader. You could go somewhere else, get another shader, and just, uh, you know, do what you need to do with it. Just play around the material like I've done on this one, if you so wish. Just a little change here and there can give it a little bit of something different, because why not? Um, so the size of it is where it shines as well, because three and a half megabytes, that's really, really, really good, because that means that this is going to be awesome for mobile. It even says there, mobile friendly, which means that if you're creating a little, you know, cartoony fantasy RPG battle thing on mobile devices, these are going to be really, really good. There's nine weapons as well, so you've got a lot of choice there. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this. Of course I would. These are really nice assets. They're not the highest of quality, but if you're aiming for high quality, uh, you want high quality, you probably know that you're going to have to pay for that kind of stuff anyway. But these are a fantastic starting point for something cute, uh, something on mobile, something you know, cell shaded something colourful. These are really, really nice for that kind of thing. And to be honest, I, I can see myself using these in a couple of different projects that I have because I think they would fit in quite nicely. So yes, I would recommend them. So guys, have you used any of these weapons in your game? If you have, let me know. Let me know what type of game it is as well because I'd love to actually maybe take a look at that because I love seeing what you guys create. It really motivates me to create better content. So if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself as well, let me know in the comments.
because I'd love to check that out and review it in one of these little videos. Finally, guys, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell icon as well, and you can stay up to date with everything I upload about video game development on my channel, because as I always say, there's loads to see, loads to learn, and I upload regularly, a couple of videos every single week. Guys, thank you very much for watching.